Do, but you already heard my answer. I know, I was listening to myself talk. I wasn't listening to you. Just go again, it's fine. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. No. Oh my God! What, damn oh my it. God! Did the, you say yes before? The, you know I did. Great, great. So we're just friends. We're just good friends with a intellectual bond and no chemistry. No romantic chemistry. Zero. Well, there you go. Talk about setting the stage. You're getting a good tease right there. <laughs> well, St. Pete born filmmaker William Stribling is screening his latest feature film, The Mirror Game, at the Sunscreen Film Festival on April 30th, of course, Saturday, at the AMC Sundial. So, as we continue our look at the popular festival, we are welcoming him, who is the director, and Marissa Flaxbart, screenwriter and producer of The Mirror Game, to our show. Welcome in from L.A. Welcome home, I should say. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be back. We're happy to be here. Here. Well, we're excited to be able to talk about this. And we were even chatting before we got started, before we dive into the mirror game. You were saying how you were seeing filmmakers on your flights out here. Yeah, and, some and, actors. And, and you're just, you were seem so appreciative, too, of us being able to use our platform to be able to talk about how important it is to have independent filmmaking. Why is that something that you both were kind of agreeing with as we were sitting here chatting? Yeah, I think um, for indie filmmakers, a film festival is really when we get to see our movies in the theater. You know, indie film so often goes straight to streaming mm -hmm. or video on demand. Uh, so getting to tour the country and see the movie with strangers in a proper movie mm -hmm. theater, it's rare. Uh, it's And it's kind of what we do this for. And this is a really special one for us because while the film has been in a couple of other festivals earlier this month, this is going to be our first time seeing it on the big screen. Oh, yeah. that on is Saturday. exciting. Yeah. That is exciting. And then, of course, you know, William, to be able to do it in your hometown. So talk to me, when you were growing up in St. Pete, was this a film festival that you kind of had your eyes set on like one day when I grow up, I want to be able to have a film here at the Sunscreen I Film Festival? I wish I could say that, but I'm old enough that the Sunscreen Film Film Festival, which is in its 17th year, uh, wasn't around when I was a kid. But, but the movie theater that our film is oh, playing yeah. in, that's the one that I grew up going to see movies at. You know, it used to be called Baywalk. Now it's the Sundial. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I get to come back and see my movie on the screen where I saw my Big Fat Greek Wedding eight times in a row, uh, that, <laughs> which is a true story. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's very cool. It's very cool for me. Well, what do we need to know about the mirror game so we can see it maybe eight times in a row, kind of like, you know, your <laughs> reference earlier? Well, it's a, a unique film, I think it's safe to say. Uh, I know we're biased, but um, it's actually adapted from a play that I wrote that we put on uh, in 2019 in L.A. a couple times. And during the pandemic, um, we kind of got a little antsy, right? Like, let's make something. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah, I mean, I had a couple of other feature films get put on hold in the pandemic, you know, larger projects. And I was really kind of chomping at the bit in August 2020, saying we got to do something. We have to find a way to safely make a film, so I called her and pitched right, her. Right, yeah. because this play is two actors in a hotel room. Um, and so the movie then, we decided, let's go ahead and make the movie be two actors in a hotel room, and we'll make it like exciting and engaging, and that will be a fun challenge. And I think we pulled it off. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it was also <laughs> exciting and engaging for us because we snuck in you know, all of our gear into oh, a Las Vegas yeah. hotel, and we made the movie in secret over five nights. So five nights is a very short time to make a feature film regardless, but then doing it without the, uh, the location knowing that we were doing it made it kind of like we were pulling off a heist in Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> With the cast and crew of cast eight. Cast and crew, eight people, very safe. We had a COVID officer on set. Mm -hmm. We were all doing all the necessary precautions that SAG required us to. Uh, but it, it still felt pretty uh, exciting, you know. I was going to say, now when you go to do a regular one, when everybody knows about it, you're going to miss that element. What yeah. were you able to kind of learn or adapt or maybe kind of discover that you want to take with you throughout the rest of your filmmaking, do you think, from doing it in this unique way for the Mirror Game? You know, actually, there is something. Maybe this is too technical, but... Um, Typically, a movie set has, you know, you're on set. I mean, you can relate to this from being here. And you have what's happening when the cameras are rolling, and then it's like break, and everybody goes wherever they go. We didn't really have an offset. So when we were in the room working, we were really working. And then we would break, and we would go to our rooms for, you know, X amount of time, and then we would come back. Yeah. And we realized at the end that even though it was only a five-day shoot, one of the reasons we were able to get it done in that time was because we were 
we only had one thing to be yeah. doing while we were yeah. in this room. Eat, sleep, breathe. You were kind of feeling that vibe. Yeah. And, and same to you. I mean, yeah. in kind of closing, we only have about 30 seconds sure. left. Of course, we want to stress how people need to come out Saturday night yeah, to Sundial yeah. and check out the Mirror Game. But just lasting, you know, thoughts with the viewers, since you are the hometown guy showing you're living in L.A., you, you're doing it. Sure. I mean, for me, this movie was an experiment. Can we make a movie for no money in five days in one location with two actors? And it can be done. So I would encourage other filmmakers and you know people who want to be filmmakers to just get out there and shoot your movie. Just do it. Yeah. That's what we actually had that same kind of advice from uh, Tony Armour.